It's not that easy nowadays to study pain sensitivity on healthy people in the laboratory due to ethical restrictions among the other factors. However, we have found the solution. Tattooing. Participants of the experiment voluntarily agree to a tattooing session, allowing, therefore, to study the impact of pain on their brain activity while the tattoo is being applied. In wide circles, tattoos are associated with deviant subcultures. What we saw in tattooing was an opportunity to understand pain perception and control mechanisms. After all, pain is an essential component of tattooing and people willingly and consciously expose themselves to this pain. We believe that studying people during a tattooing session can become a good alternative to laboratory approaches. Materials used. Two days, 20 hours of sessions, 10 people, 10 tattoos, one laboratory. The study involved 10 healthy subjects divided into two groups of five people. The subjects of the first group had their tattoos done for the first time. The subjects of the second group had spent more than 30 hours in tattooing sessions. The purpose of our experiment was to study the impact of pain exposure on brain activity while tattooing. Интересно, как мозг будет реагировать на боли, как он будет в процессе адаптации. Ну и параллельно мы еще сравниваем людей, у которых это не первое, и у которых первое. In preparation for the experiment, a helmet with EEG sensors was placed on the subject's head to record an electroencephalogram. To ensure good contact between the sensors and the surface of the head, a special conductive gel was used. All the subjects had their eyes closed during the experiment to reduce the influence of distracting factors. In a way to control the impact of painful stimulus, we acted on the skin of right and left hands with a vibrating tattoo machine without a needle. Vibrotactile stimulation was done before and after the tattoo session. Such control conditions are necessary for the purity of the experiment as this way we can separate the effects of pain exposure from the effects caused by tactile stimulation. Moreover, this setting of experimental conditions allows us to evaluate reaction to tactile impact on both a freshly tattooed hand and an untouched one. The subjects were then tattooed on the inside of their right hand forearms. Identical equipment with fixed settings was used for all the subjects while tattooing. Machine frequency of 7,800 to 8,000 beats per minute. A tattoo needle consisted of nine soldered 35 millimeter diameter needles. Tattoo machine operation was synchronized with the system recording brain activity via a trigger pedal. This way, when processing the data, we were able to understand when exactly the machine started working to set the bits corresponding to pain exposure aside from the rest of the signal.
still need a motor. The results. The experiment has shown that the brain areas responsible for the sensitivity of the hands were aroused when being exposed to pain. This happened with both experienced subjects and beginners. The differences between the two groups appeared in one of the controlled conditions, an inhibitory reaction in the areas of motor cortex, which is responsible for controlling body movements, was developing when stimulating pain prior to tattooing. This was mostly demonstrated by the subjects with no prior tattooing experience, while more experienced subjects showed a weak reaction. Such inhibition may be the result of pain relief as a protective reaction of the brain to pain. After a tattoo, the skin in the area becomes very sensitive, and even a touch can cause pain. Natural anesthesia processes were launched in the brain to protect against excessive pain. We suppose that a decrease in the inhibition response after pain stimulation among the subjects with a big number of tattoos may indicate changes in the brain pain relief mechanisms, which is most likely a consequence of repeated pain exposure. What follows from this is that further research in this area can help to better understand perception and pain control mechanisms for the search of new pain relief medicine and therapy for pain syndromes of various origins, with tattooing being a good model to study pain sensibility on healthy people.